Hey guys, today I have the opportunity to review for you what is probably the best quality survival shovel on the market. It's called the Annihilate by the Zune Low 2 Company. Uh, from everything I've been looking at with this company, they really stress top quality products. And to me, from first appearances, this seems to fit the bill pretty well. Normally, I'm not in doing unboxings, more of reviews, but you know what? I was a little impressed with the packaging it came in, so I thought, let's show you that too. Basically, to start off, you're going to get a manual, and yeah, from looking at the, the ad, uh, there's an Amazon ad for this. I'll put a link in the description to that ad. Uh, it shows you the manual, it shows all the parts, and it shows why you're probably going to need it. First, the cable saw. About every survival kit needs a cable saw. Well, the rings, I've seen a few of them. This one looks pretty good. You know, I haven't tried it, but we'll see. Cord. Everybody's got to have some cord. You're going to have to have some cord with it. And then, of course, comes the important part, and that is the shovel head itself. And I'll tell you what, there's some weight here. If you're a backpacker and you're trying to save every ounce, then you're probably going to want to buy a cheaper shovel to carry with you but if you want something that's better this has got the weight it's got the heft and it looks like that's going to be a pretty good deal also on the top let's see what we got here it was kind of interesting the way they broke this down i thought and you can see that in the manual or you can see it on the amazon ad they don't really show this this is what they call the harpoon and of course it's got a lot of gadgets in here we'll look at that a little bit later then on the bottom, we have all of our handles. I got all the handles in, and there's actually a couple extras in there. First one to start out with is our first handle we put in, and nice solid goes in the thing. Everyone has got a rubber O-ring. You can feel that rubber O-ring seal in on you. That'll give you your first handle. And the second one that goes in is this one that comes with, it's got a knife, there's a serration, the back side you can use uh, for your steel. We'll go over all that in just a little bit. But for now, that just slides right up inside the handle. Again, rubber O-ring, once that connects, you can feel that seal down really good. And finally, what we got? I got my last one here, and I got a whistle here. We're going to slip that one in real quick. And then we're going to take off the end cap because I want to show you. I mentioned that knife blade can be used as a striker for a fire starter. And there's the fire starter. It's in the end. Also, the end cap here is threaded. The quarter by 20 thread, which fits like all your GoPro cameras, almost every camera system. So if you're out hunting, you need to take a picture and there's no one there, you can always stick the shovel in the ground and do this. So there's your basic with the three pieces to it. And if you look at the manual here, that's what it's going to show you as your basic pieces to start with. But I still got a couple pieces of handle here. And they show these, I think they show them as they call them a gift, I believe, but it's something extra they put in. So let's take the back one off. I kind of always figured, as I looked at this, I figured the rubber grip goes on the first one and the last one and everything in the middle doesn't have the rubber grip but what we have I still have two more sections of uh, pipe here for handle so let's stick this one on real quick so we have another one there and on this one every one of these is threaded on the inside also and that's where we come back to our harpoon is we can actually thread that one right down inside get it all the way down there and that's one nice thing it's taken me a while to do that but it's got a lot of threads which means it's going to be good and solid once it's in place we're going to stick that down inside hit that o-ring makes it solid now let's put our back handle back in place again and now, now we're looking at the full 
overall shovel with the three main sections that it shows and what they call the two gifts, which are two extra sections along with that harpoon. All right, that's your basic shovel. Now let's start looking at all the components and everything that are down inside the handle. All right, let's see what all we get with this shovel and break down the parts. We're gonna start by taking off the back end of it first. And remember, this is the part that has the survival whistle. So you've got the whistle. Before I step any farther than that, I want to mention one thing. This is not part of their saying this, but they do talk about this will not rust. I assume stainless steel is not going to rust. So if that stays good and shiny, if we're discussing survival whistles so you can notify someone, I'm not going to say this would be as great as a reflective mirror, but if that stays shiny, you're out in the sun and you need to uh, try to get a hold of somebody or get their attention, this may work also as a reflector like a survival mirror or something like that. Again, they're not making that claim, but when I look at that and I see something like that, I think that ought to be able to work as a survival mirror to help notify people. Uh, back into this one, as we said, has our fire starter in it and our mount. So if we do a camera, something like that, you've got the mount for that. Hold that aside for just a little bit. I'm going to start taking off some other sections here. There's just a plain section. This one's got our knife blade in it. You know, when I first looked at this, I thought that was supposed to be the knife blade. It turned out to be on that. No, that isn't going to work. There's your knife blade, and it's going to go we're serrated right here. And from here to here is your knife blade, right in between my fingers. This is not knife blade here. So right in between, there's your knife blade. You're serrated. That should work. We'll see that for the fire starter. Yep, there we go. Probably new, so I would assume the more you scrape on that, get some of that paint stuff off, that'll make it even better. But you do get your spark, so there's your fire starter. Keep going. We're down to what they called the gift. And what did they call that? They called that the harpoon. And I got a serration up here. Right here, very sharp. Looks like a cord cutter. Probably a way to just a quick cord cut. And whether that's can opener, bottle opener, whichever it is, I'm not 100% sure. Smooth on both sides. That might even work as your fire starter also. But I think your big thing here is you got a cord cutter here that would work very well for something like that and that brings us up to the front end the most important part and that is the shovel as I said this is very well built this thing is is very tough the neat thing about it now it's not going to fold down 100 percent because it's built so solidly here it can't do it and if you're a backpacker you know, and if you need something that's lighter weight, just remember, you're probably going to give up a little quality, but maybe you think you need that for carrying it. I love this. It's got so many different levels that you can put this. I think they say seven, if I'm not mistaken. And it's just a push of a button. Just push the button in, and you can adjust to any level. So to me, that looked out pretty good. The hand, the, the head itself with the shovel, good steps for the spades. It's got holes, which you never know what you might do with something there. Uh, I think they call this their battle axe side, and this their chopper. It's not too bad. It's got a little bit of sharpness to it, so I would think cutting down, uh, using this like a hatchet or an axe to cut down uh, some wood for firewood or a sapling or something like that would work. One other thing is, inside here, when you get it down, you see on the back side is a wire cutter. You can actually stick a wire up in there, pry it down and cut, and you can get everything cut with a wire cutter there. So it's a little, just another piece of item that's inside there. And let me move some of the stuff out of the way so I can get to the carrying bag. Now, I did notice in the Amazon ad, and when I got this product, it didn't have the bag. And if you look at the Amazon ad, again, you'll find it down in the description. They discuss in there, right there, big capital letters, product upgrading. 
they're upgrading their packaging and improving that so it's possible if you order this you will not get the bag and it tells you right in there if you do not get it contact them and I didn't get it so I immediately contacted them and here I'm right after the new year even with the holidays and everything in five days I had the bag and as far as I'm concerned I'm looking at the bag I mean we've got to put over the shovel carry it over the blade itself what else I got I got straps in here I got my main deal here and it looks like there are compartments so every handle can fit down inside a compartment so that the handles aren't rolling around bumping into each other each one's got a compartment uh, it's got another big compartment here with more compartment with more individual compartments there again for putting uh, your parts in I would assume when you're putting those in here you're gonna have to take the knife out or the blade out they're probably not gonna probably not gonna sit down in there quite right I'm not sure about that uh, got a little storage compartment in front maybe that would be a good spot for the knife blades flips up I got more here I got even more spaces there I haven't tried to put everything in here as of yet but I'll tell you what I did think oh by the way it looks here there's a belt loop on the back so if you just want to wear it on your belt you can do that if you don't need to use the shoulder strap and carry it that way but either way this I think is the quality of this is just like the quality of this and I am impressed I am impressed with the quality I'm kind of I can get a little big on that sometimes and I want something that's good quality if I if, if if my if I'm into survival and if my life is depending on this thing it better be good quality but for just even everyday use as I said I live out in the country on a farm I can think of all kinds of places I can use this on the farm anytime I go hunting anytime I go camping it all fits right here it's so simple just to throw that in when you're going hunting going fishing going camping or even on the farm in your car keep it handy if you've got a long commute and you've got some back roads you're going all the time I don't think I'd this this would be in my car all the time I, I can see that having something like this handy where you can have all of this and one survival tool of this quality would be great to have that's all I got guys hey this is probably one of the best survival shovels you're ever going to find Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to my channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.